Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Can you hear me? Hi. Bueno, compañeros, eh, les quería nada más comunicar que me encuentro con un poquito de problemas de internet, así que estoy utilizando mis datos móviles, razón por la cual voy a tener la cámara apagada para no gastármelo innecesariamente, ¿verdad? Así que su comprensión y provecho para quienes cenan en este momento. <risa> ok. All right. Let's begin. Vamos a comenzar. Just give me a second. Solo regálenme un segundito. Aquí está. Okay. Okay, when you hear your name, please let me know. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Presente, profe. Thank you. Arles Ernesto López. Presente. Thank you very much. Baudilio Elenizo. Desde aquí se ve que viene una gran tormenta, teacher. Really? Okay. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera Ramírez. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera Ramírez. Carlos Edgardo Santos Reyes. Alberto, teacher, present. I'm sorry, Carlos Alberto. Leí el otro que estaba abajo. Ok, thank you. Uh, Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Present, teacher. Thank you. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Present. Thank you. David Antonio Rosales García. David Antonio Rosales García. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Present teacher. Thank you. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Present teacher. Thank you. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Ever Francis Alvallero. Conectándose, teacher. Ok. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O, Ayala Hernández. Por aquí vemos a Baudilio ya conectado. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Ebert you. Aristides Oya Ruiz. Ebert Aristides Oya Ruiz. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Here I am, teacher. Thank you. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. Hola, hola. hola. I okay. am here, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Thank you. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Thank you. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Present, 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 teacher, present. Thank you. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Presente, teacher. Thank you. 
María de Lourdes, Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. María de Lourdes, Miroslava. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Good evening, teacher. Present. Welcome. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mónica Yvette Merino Rivas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Oscar Susana Castellano. Present, teacher. Thank you. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Wilber Rafael. Uh, good evening, teacher. Excuse me. Good evening. Hi. Okay, I'm calling some of you again. María Lourdes ya está por acá. Thank you. Okay, veamos. David Antonio Rosales. David Antonio Rosales García. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Ever Francis Alvallero. Presente teacher. Thank you. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Presente teacher. Thank you. Ever Taristides Oya Ruiz. Teacher, ya se le va a conectar, ya que está a cinco minutos de llegar a la oficina. Ok, thank you. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. No, perdón. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Ok. Okay, vamos, entonces. Everybody, welcome once again. De nuevo, eh, me disculpo porque tengo un poco de problema de conexión. Así que por ese motivo no voy a poder eh, poner la cámara. Así que solo van a escuchar mi voz el día de hoy. Esperemos que la situación se normalice el día de mañana y, pues, y eh, podamos transmitir como de costumbre. David Antonio, por acá está. Ya le tomamos su asistencia también. Thank, Thank you, you teacher. Okay. Baudilio Lenilson, do you have a question? Baudilio? Sorry, teacher. I saw my hand in the notes. Okay. Okay. Uh, welcome. This is English Principiante Modulo 2, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. And this is session 15. Today is June the 14th of 2023. So what do we have? We have the grammar focus, okay? And what's the grammar focus all about? It's simple present WH questions, okay? Un repaso. So again, you say, what sports do you play? Say, I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team, okay? Where do you play? Say, we play at Hunter Park. Okay. The next one is, uh, how often do you practice? How often do you practice? And the answer is, 
we practice once or twice a week. Okay. So then we have, uh, when do you practice? Okay. And the answer is, we practice on Sundays. Okay. And the last time, the last one, I'm sorry, is what time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. What kind of questions are these? ¿Qué tipo de preguntas son estas? Okay, Cecia. Pregunta de informa información. Okay, in English, what's the name? Uh, information question. Information w question. H question. WH questions. Okay, thank you, Cecia. Very good. These are information questions or WH questions. Okay. Why are they called WH questions? Why are they information questions? Because you need specific information to answer them. When they tell you what sports, okay, so, ¿qué deportes? Ah, por cierto, hablando de eso. Tal vez se habrán preguntado, te digo porque no me han hecho la pregunta, pero es algo que surge seguido. ¿Por qué a veces hacemos preguntas con what y a veces preguntas con which? Por darles un ejemplo. En español decimos, ¿cuál es tu nombre? Pero en inglés preguntamos, what is your name? Entonces, a veces nos cuesta un poco comprender la diferencia entre cuál, en este caso, what y which, al hacer la pregunta, considerando que what significa qué y which significa cuál. Pero ¿por qué en algunos casos cuando decimos cuál, por ejemplo, es tu nombre, en vez de decir which is your name, decimos what is your name? Ok. I'm going to write it here. Utilice what cuando el rango de selección no está claro. Es decir, no tenemos delimitado las opciones. Por eso a usted le dicen what is your name. Es decir, entre todos los nombres del mundo, ¿cuál es el suyo? Por eso utilizamos what. Pero ¿qué pasaría si la opción, las opciones están limitadas? ¿Ok? Entonces, cuando las opciones están limitadas y sabemos cuáles son, utilizamos which. Podemos decir, there is a green car, a red car, and a black car. Which car is yours? O, which one is yours? Ahora, aquí ocupamos which. ¿Por qué se utiliza? Porque nuestras opciones están delimitadas correctamente. Sabemos que hay tres carros en ese caso. Sabemos que hay uno gris, uno rojo y uno negro. Por tanto, como ya sabemos el número de opciones y ya sabemos cuáles son, utilizamos which. Cuando esas opciones no están delimitadas, utilizamos what. ¿Ok? Por esa razón aquí preguntan, what sports do you play? In Spanish, you will say, ¿Cuáles deportes practicas? ¿O qué deportes practicas? Podría ser también. Pero como no tenemos delimitado el número de deportes y hay muchos deportes, entonces decimos, what sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Okay. The second one is, who do you play baseball with? Who? It's his people. Okay. This is people. So you say, I play with some friends from work. Okay, uh, we have a team. Then you have where do you play? The question word where indicates a place. Okay, it indicates a place. So where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. Okay, that's the, that's the thing. For example, if I ask you, where do you work? What is the answer? Mm -hmm. If I ask you, where do you work? What is the answer? ¿Quién me contesta? Uh, 
Ajá. ¿Qué pasó? If I ask you where do you work? What's the answer? Cecia. I my work. ¿Qué cómo es? Espérese, ¿dónde trabajo, ver? Yes, you say I I work in the uh, NSP. I work at at ANSP. ANSP. Okay, I work at ANSP. Okay, good. Baudilio Lenilson. Ah, uh, era lo mismo casi. Solo podría cambiar la localidad. I work at um, Comalapa. Okay, I work at Comalapa. Ah, yes. Okay. Ah. Uh -huh. I have seen ser, I, I, I work in Comalapa. No, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I work in Comalapa. You can say that. So you can say I work, but you can say if you want to also express ANSP, you can say I work at ANSP Comalapa. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Sí, ya he visto que hay una, una división, digamos, de la NSP. Ok, so, that's the idea. So you say, where do you work? Where indicates a place? Ok, the next one is, how often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. Ok, if I ask you a question, for example, how often do you go to the movies? to the cinema. How often do you go to the movies? Can you answer that for me? How often do you go to the movies? Baudilio. Never. Okay, can you tell me a complete sentence? Um, I, I do mm -mm. go to okay. the movies, never. Okay, so you say I, Recordemos, ¿verdad? Tenemos... I never... Ajá, I never... Go to the movies. And that's okay. it. Okay. I never go to the movies. Okay, all right. Nunca va. Okay, Cecia. Eh, la misma respuesta. Same answer. No. Okay. No alcanza. No alcanza. Uy. <laughs> es un lujo. Okay. All right. Um, ¿Quién más puede contestar esta pregunta? Okay, who else can answer this question? Pero alguien que sí vaya de cuando en cuando, que no van a decir que es lo mismo. <laughs> uh -huh. How often do you go to the movies? No me digan que no, que no tienen hijos pequeños, que ya por lo menos una vez al año los llevan al cine. Vamos, ¿quién puede compartir aquí una respuesta? María de Lourdes. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I hardly ever mm -hmm. go to the movies. I hardly ever go to the movies. Okay, you can say that. I hardly ever go to the movies. If you want to be more specific, you can say, I go to the movies maybe once or twice a year, maybe, digamos, ¿verdad? hardly ever, casi nunca, pero de pronto va, así que tal vez si quieres ser un poco más específica ahí, I go to the movies once or twice a year, algo así me imagino, okay, all right, so, well, the next question is, when do you practice, okay, we practice on Sundays, I have a question for you, Okay, my question will be, what is your hobby? Okay, what is your hobby? Cecia, and then my hobby, my hobby is gardening, paint, okay. cook, and read um, novels. Novelas, no sé cómo se dice. Novels. Okay. Gardening, no. painting, cooking, and reading novels. Okay. 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 So my question is, when 
do you paint? Me gusta pintar, dice. So, when do you paint? I paint the weekend. Okay, so you say, I paint on the weekends. Okay, you can say that. Baudilio, what is your hobby? Pareciera que solo tengo, a, solo tengo a Cecia, Baudilio, y por acá María de Lourdes. Pasó con los demás. Okay, Baudilio, what is your hobby? My hobby, my hobby is driving motorcycles. Motorcycles. Okay, yeah. so you can say my hobby is riding uh, motorcycles. Cycles. Okay. My hobby is riding motorcycles. But not driving, but riding. Because you right. ride a horse, you ride a bicycle, you ride a motorcycle too. Okay. Okay. So my question is, when do you ride motorcycles? When do you ride uh, motorcycles? Normally in the weekend. Okay. Normally in the weekend. And okay. other of my time free or my free time. Free time, okay, on the weekends. I ride motorcycles on the weekends. Okay, you can say that. Enrique, what is your hobby? I uh, my hobby is to run every day. Running. Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah. Ok, uh, just a moment. Tenemos acá Santo Mauricio y He Teacher. Ok, ya están conectados. Vamos a ver, Ebert, ya está por acá. Santo Mauricio ya está por acá también. Yes, Franklin de Lao. No puedo levantar la manita para participar. <laughs> no, ¿Por qué no puede? No la encuentro y por eso le tuve que hablar así. No le encuentra. Ok. Bueno, yo como... Uh, no? and my, my, hobby, my hobby is good fishing. Fishing. Ah, ok. My, my hobby is go, going fishing. Ok. Fishing. So, yeah. Ok. Ok. Let's see. Uh, Enrique nos dijo que okay, my hobby is running. Ok. And Franklin says my hobby is fishing. Simplemente, my hobby is fishing. Okay, so I'm going to ask Franklin. Franklin, when do you go fishing? When do you go fishing? Franklin, when do you go fishing? Um, con uh, uh, my finish, some uh, fin de semana. <laughs> okay, how do you say fin de semana? Aquí en esta misma ventana que le estoy mostrando, por ahí aparece. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we say on the weekends. You say, I go fishing on the weekends or on the weekend. You can say it also. No necesario poner la S. On the weekend. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Enrique Perez, your question, my question for you is, when do you go running? Enrique Perez, when do you go running? Será que se ha levantado, Enrique. Aquí estoy, teacher. Ok, so, Enrique, when do you go running? Eh, creo que la misma respuesta lo dile, porque eh, para completar la pregunta le he puesto todos los días. Ma. Pero realmente eh, la respuesta sería hay uh, hay I, I went to Teacher. Mm -hmm. I go. But I I go uh, I go running mm -hmm. uh, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 
Mm -hmm. Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. I go running from Monday to Thursday. You can say that. Okay. De lunes I go, a jueves. Uh -huh. I go running from Monday to Thursday. Okay. Good. Okay. Great. Very good. And then the next question is, what time do you start? Okay, we start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so uh, Enrique Perez, okay, question. What time do you go running? A que hora? Uh, I go running uh, the... Uh, Remember at four, four, at at, uh -huh. at four a.m. at four a.m. Okay, I go running at four a.m. Así es. Bueno, aquí ven, pueden observar, verdad? Cada una de las preguntas, dependiendo de la question word con la que comiencen, verdad? Esa es la información que se les está solicitando. Okay. So that's the idea about WH questions. So what are we going to do now? This is knowledge check, okay? 5.4 in the platform, this is 5.4. Complete the conversation with the correct WH question words. Complete la conversación con la palabra WH correcta. And we have the same exercise in the manual. In the manual is right here. Complete the conversations with the correct WH question words, then practice with a partner. I watch sports on television every weekend. The other person says, really? What sports do you like to watch? And this person says, soccer, it's my favorite. Okay, so what is the next question? Tratemos de participar. Vamos, que no sean siempre los mismos. A los que me participan, muchas gracias. Los felicito muchísimo. De verdad, pero también quiero escuchar a los otros. Thank you, teacher. Pierdan, pierdan la, la pena, ¿verdad? O lo que los esté deteniendo para participar. Ok. Wilber. Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, who, who do you usually watch uh, the score? Soccer sería la última palabra. Okay, but take a look at the answer. Veamos la respuesta. Dice, on Sunday afternoons. So the question word is different. Sí, como que si le está preguntando ahí que con qué frecuencia juega. Tal vez, tal vez no con qué frecuencia, sino más bien cuándo. So what's the question word? Voy a usar como de integer. Me doy de un chavo. Ok, no problem. Salvador Hernández. When do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday when, afternoon. Uh -huh. When do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoons. Ok, good. Thank you, Salvador. What about the next one? Para saber cuál question word va ahí, tienen que leer la respuesta que le da la otra persona, ¿verdad? What's the question? What's the question? Maria de Lourdes. Um, where do you usually watch, watch it at home? Where do you, and where do you usually watch it? At home, okay? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big television, okay? Yeah, thank you, that is correct. Say, where do you usually watch it? Okay, donde? Karen, Julissa, what about number two, please? How often do you go bike riding? How often do you go bike riding, okay? How often do you go bike riding? Correct, okay. Oh, about once a month. Thank you very much, Adan Iglesias. 
the next person says, I love to go bike riding. I go every Sunday. So, Adan? Adan? Well, la pregunta, profe. Okay, it's it's right here. Okay, uh, the person says, I love to go bike riding. I go every Sunday. And then the other person says, really? Blah, 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 you go. Really, when do you go? When do you go? Okay, but it's more like, what time do you go? Usually at what? about one o'clock. What time? Okay, because they're talking about time. Están hablando de hora. Okay, thank you very much. Jose Benjamin, you're next. Okay. Tenía una interrogante ahí. Ah, okay, yes, Jose. En el, en el examen, en el examen solo dio buena la respuesta. Really, when do you go? Ah, no really? ¿Sí? Mm. En el examen o en el, en el, now let's check. En el, Okay, vamos a ver entonces. Okay, give me a moment. Veamos section number five. Bueno, es posible que en la plataforma aparezca así nada más. Veamos. Veamos. 5.4. Which one is it? Ajá, no aparece what time. Vamos a ver por acá. Sunday and you should watch it at home, my friend's house. Really? really. Usually at about one o'clock. Ah, uh, así es. La opción más próxima tendría que ser when porque no aparece what time. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Sí, es que yo participé ayer y, y me corrigió que era what time, pero tenía esa duda. Mm -hmm. Sí, pero ajá, en este caso sería what time, porque le dice at about one o'clock. Okay, thank you, Jose. All right. So, um, let's continue. You have what time do you go? Okay, usually at about one o'clock. And the last one says, oh yeah? What's the question? Mm -hmm. the, oh yeah, who do you live with? Who do you usually go with? Okay, who do you usually go with? Okay, that's correct. Yes. Okay, thank you for your participation. Who do you usually go with? My sister, come with us next time. Okay, that sounds sounds okay. And then we have this other activity. Okay, complete the conversation with questions, then compare with a partner. So we have right here, uh, I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. So the question will be, what sports do you like? Now, I want you to take a look at the other four answers and I want you to write the questions. I am going to give you four minutes. Le voy a dar cuatro minutos. I am going to give you four minutes for you to write the questions individually, okay? And then we're going to check answers. Individualmente van a tener cuatro minutos para escribir cada una de las preguntas. Y posterior vamos a compartirlas, okay? Four minutes starting right now. Cuatro minutos comenzando ya. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Fíjense en la respuesta. La respuesta le dice qué es lo que están preguntando. Como en este caso, I like lots of sports. Entonces la pregunta es, what sports do you like? Let's begin. Four minutes. 
Cuatro minutos.
Okay, time to check. So what sports do you like? I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. What about the second one? What's the question? Carlos Alberto. Okay, teacher. Is who do you play with? Who do you play with? Okay, you have who do you play with? You can say who do you who do you play with? Who do you usually play with? Or who do you usually play volleyball with? Las palabras en paréntesis indican que no son absolutamente necesarias para hacer la pregunta. Así que who do you play with? It's correct. Thank you, Carlos. I usually play with my sister and some friends. Okay, great. Uh, what about the next question? What is it? Karen Julisa. How often do you practice? How often do you practice? But if you notice, this is not about frequency. Si se fijan, no es sobre frecuencia exactamente. Es un poquito diferente. Que si fuera, how often do you practice? La respuesta sería, we practice once a week, una vez a la semana. Pero aquí son más específicos. We practice on Saturdays. So what's the question? Karen Julisa. Entonces sería, where do you, no. Quiero ver. When do you practice? When do you practice? Or when do you play? Puede ser también. When do you play? De hecho, lo vamos a poner acá también porque estaría bien decirlo. When do you play? Or when do you practice? Okay. Estaría bien. When do you play or when do you practice volleyball? Okay, great. Thank you, Karen. We practice on Saturdays. Okay. What about... De hecho, practice sería mejor, no solo así. Give me a second. Cecia, okay. I have a question. What's your question? Uh, porque estamos hablando de we, nosotros, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. No cambia el do. Mm, no, no, not really. Remember that we use do for the subjects I, we, you, and they. Uh -huh. So what about the next question? ¿Cuál sería la siguiente? What time do you start? What time do you start? Okay, that is correct. We start at about noon. Okay, great. Very good. And the last one, what's the question? Karen Julisa. Voy a participar por lo que no he participado estos días. <laughs> okay, great. Where do, you, where do you play? Where do you play? Okay, that's correct. Or where do you play volleyball? We usually play in our yard, but sometimes we play at the beach. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, muy bien. Estoy viendo el progreso ahí sobre la forma en que formulan estas preguntas. Así que vamos ahí. En parte, la, en parte la idea de pedir su participación es esa, detectar errores, ¿verdad? Si yo les digo, por favor, participen, es porque yo quiero saber qué es lo que han comprendido y en qué se están equivocando. Entonces, a veces, si nosotros no participamos, entonces yo no puedo saber cuál error tiene usted. Si no puedo saber qué error tiene, no puedo corregirle. Y si no puedo corregirle, entonces usted se lleva ese error. Eh, se, lo, diría, se lo lleva a la casa, digamos así, ¿verdad? Así que procuremos tratar de participar siempre. Y de esa forma podemos obtener pues, retroalimentación valiosa. Que nos puede servir de mucho posteriormente. Ok. 
Let's continue. Lesson objective. It's uh, 7.43. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using can and can't. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán a sonar natural cuando usen puedo y no puedo. Okay, new grammar topic. There's the pronunciation can and can't. Listen and practice. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. Okay, vamos a ver cómo se pronuncia esto. I can dance. The sound is e. Eh. I can't can't can dance. I can't. Pardon, I can act. I'm sorry, but I can't sing very well. In the second, uh, in this word can't. Okay, the sound is different. The sound is wider. El sonido es como más amplio. This is can can. I can act, but I can't sing very well. Can't. So it's a bit different. Everybody, please repeat after me. Pueden repetir ahí desde donde están con el micrófono apagado. So, I can act. Again, I can act. But I can't sing very well. Once again, I can act. But I can't sing very well. So here's the idea, can and can't, okay? Two different sounds right there. Lesson objective, by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using can for ability. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán cómo formular y responder preguntas usando puedo para las habilidades. That's object, lesson objective 5.7. So there's a conversation between Kayla and Philip. I can't sing, she says, I can't sing. So um, I need two volunteers, please. Cecia and Jose Amilcar. Okay, Cecia, you play Kayla, and Jose Amilcar, you play Philip, please. Oh, look, there is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thank. Well, you can, too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? OK, let's practice tomorrow. Okay, very good. So you can see it here. Can you sing or act? Be a star. TV talent contest, Saturday, 9 a.m. Contest means concurso. So this is a TV talent contest. So Kayla says, oh, look, there is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. Metámonos. Philip says, I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? Yo que puedo hacer? Kayla says, you can sing really well. Puedes cantar muy bien. Philip says, oh, thanks. Well, you can too. And Kayla says, oh, no, I can't sing at all. When you say at all, that means para nada o en lo absoluto. Cero, nothing. Okay, I can't sing at all. No puedo cantar para nada. But I can play the piano. Philip says, so maybe we can enter the contest. And Kayla says, sure, why not? Seguro, por qué no? Philip says, okay, let's practice tomorrow. Practiquemos mañana. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary or pronunciation right here? Alguna consulta, duda, vocabulario, pronunciación? No questions. Profe, yes, maybe, ¿qué quiere decir maybe? Maybe means tal vez, o quizás. Maybe we can teacher. enter the contest, okay? Uh, some questions we can ask, right? You say, what? Sorry. Aprovechando que hemos visto WH questions. What is the meaning of like this? So you say, what is the meaning of 
Maybe. Veamos. Ebert. Si me preguntan nuevamente, ¿cómo sería entonces? What is the meaning of maybe? Ok. I, I can tell you. Maybe means tal vez. Ok. Cecia Gemima. I have a question. What's your question? What is the meaning of meaning? <laughs> meaning. Ok. Meaning. Means, <risa> significado. Entonces tenemos, meaning es significado. Mean es el verbo significar. Entonces, meaning significa significado. Desde acá, ¿verdad? Meaning means significado. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ok. So, let's take a look. This is the grammar focus. Can for ability. This is very easy. Esto de hecho es bastante fácil, no requiere demasiada explicación, pero vamos a hacer eh, suficiente práctica, ¿verdad? Para que quede bien claro. So, can for ability. You can say, I can sing very well, you can sing very well, he can sing very well, she can sing very well, we can sing very well, they can sing very well. Okay, you have can. Can and then a verb. Esto es algo que conocemos como a model auxiliary verb. Ok. There are many model auxiliary verbs. Hay varios. But the most common of all is can. Este es el primero. Ok. So, model auxiliary verbs. Rules. Tienen reglas. Ok. Rule number one. Model auxiliary, sorry. Okay. Verbs, okay. Don't have a special form for the subjects he, she, or it. Okay. Model auxiliary verbs don't have a special form for the subjects he, she, or it. You say, I can. You can, I'm going to move this. You say, he can, she can, you say, it can, we can, plural you can, and they can. But now look. There are no special forms for he, she, or it. Los modal auxiliaries no tienen una forma especial para los sujetos he, she, or it. No le vayan a poner una S a esto así, ¿verdad? Porque no la lleva. Ok. That's the first one. Remember, modal auxiliary reverse don't have a special form for the subjects he, she, or it. Rule number two, model auxiliary verbs are always followed by a verb in base form. Después de un modal auxiliary como can, usted siempre va a utilizar un verbo en forma base, es decir, sin modificar de ninguna manera. That's why you can say, Example, let's eliminate this. Okay, you can say, I can sing. This is correct. Si usted me dijera, por ejemplo, I can to sing, esto sería malo, wrong. Si usted me dijera, I can singing, this is also wrong. If you tell me, I can, let's see, vimos acá, verdad? She can, sings, okay? This will be wrong too. 
Usted lo pone en pasado, no lo hemos visto el pasado, pero igual. I can sing, okay? This will be wrong too, etc., etc. La única forma que puede seguir después de can es un verbo en forma base, es decir, un verbo sin modificar de ninguna manera. Si el verbo es sing, entonces sing ponga. ¿Ok? Nunca ponga to sing, nunca ponga singing, nunca ponga sings, etcétera, etcétera. Enrique. Kitchen, entonces vale decir que después del verbo, en este caso el auxiliar, el que sí tiene que ser en presente, sin excusa. No en presente, porque una ¿Cómo, cosa ¿cómo es... Le ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo le llaman ese tiempo? El... No es un tiempo, sino más bien es una forma del verbo. Ajá. Esa forma del verbo se conoce como base form, la forma base. Pero la forma base del verbo no necesariamente quiere decir presente. Se utiliza la forma base en otras ocasiones también. ¿Ok? Entonces, la forma base del verbo, ¿cuál es? Es el verbo sin modificar de ninguna forma. Es decir, en su forma más pura, sing. Esa es la forma base del verbo cantar. Si usted dice to sing, ya no es la forma base. Esa se le conoce como to infinitive. Si dice singing, ya no es la forma base. Esa se le conoce como present participle. Si usted dice sings, ya no es la forma base. Es la forma third person singular. Si usted dice sang, ya no es la forma base. Es la forma pasado. Y así. ¿Verdad? La única forma que puede seguirle a un modal auxiliary es el verbo en forma base y nada más. Pero no es presente precisamente, solo es el verbo en su forma base. Así que podemos decir aquí, I can sing, dance, uh, play the guitar, etc. ¿Ok? That's the idea. So those are the rules. I'm going to send this to you via WhatsApp. Teacher, in this último ejemplo, puesto eh, después del verbo auxiliar, he puesto otros dos verbos más, va. Uh, aquí, sing, ¿Sí? dance, I, yeah, I, play the guitar. Yes, uh, you have I, sing, I, dance, and I, play. Okay, Correct. I can. I can sing, dance, play to guitar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Okay. This is grammar, correct. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome. I just sent it to you via WhatsApp. Híjole, no lo manda. ¿Por qué no lo manda? Hmm. Por algún motivo no puedo enviar esto. Bueno. Se los mando luego. Okay, well, let's continue. So you say the negative form is can't, okay? Can't. I can't, you can't, he can't, she can't, we can't, they can't. That's negative. And after that, and after that, we have uh, a, a verb in base form, okay? All right, so uh, remember, you use can for ability, okay? I can, you can, he can, she can, we can, they can, or the negative, I can't, you can't, he can't, she can't, we can't, they can't. We will continue tomorrow, but first I'm going to take attendance. Vamos a tomar asistencia. Creo que hay un par de personas que aún no me han contestado. Veamos, está por acá Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Presente, presente, teacher. Thank you. Uh, José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín. ¿Es José Valentín online tonight? No, he's not online. Okay, so everybody, thank you very much, and uh, 
Oops. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. See you Good tomorrow, night, teacher. teacher. Thank. Good night. night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night teacher. Bye bye. Ya logré evitar la manita. Okay. Thank you.